everybody, welcome back to A Go Sox, Ye Go Sox, I don't know if y'all want me to keep the name or change it, like I said, I was, I don't know how to do posts, I don't know how to do most of the YouTube stuff, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't know how to do most of it, and I work from, my two days off is Tuesday and Thursday, no wait, Wednesday and Thursdays. So, Wednesday and Thursdays, y'all should be looking for videos. Videos will be coming out those days. But today, I mean this week, I'm off Tuesday and Wednesday. So, to, today and tomorrow, you're going to have three videos today and three videos tomorrow. So, today we are going to react to a request video from my long, long, fucking long time subscribers. Alpha Shocker. Y'all know Alpha Shaka been with us for a while. I'll put his link down below. He want me to react to SCP-2137. For, wait, uh, Forsake, Forsaken, Ghost of Tupac Shakur, Thermal Class. All right, uh, it's about Tupac, so Alpha, what the fuck's going on? Is it because I'm black, Alpha? Is that why you picked Tupac, Alpha? I know what's going on now. Oh, I definitely know what you what's going on now. You think Tupac is my favorite artist? You think Tupac is, is a legend that I look, I'm still listening to his music today? You think all that? Then you fucking right. You were fucking right. I still listen to Tupac to this day. Holla at me. And Tupac is one of my favorite artists. It, dad alive Tupac is it's in my top five. I don't care what anybody say. He's in my top five. I'm an old school guy. All right, without further ado, this is by the Vulgan. Like, comment, subscribe to the Vulgan. Please, the Vulgan makes some good ass video. Please like, comment, subscribe to my homie, the Vulgan. And without further ado, let's get this shit started. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon everyone. everyone. My, My name, name is Dr. Dr. Miller, Miller, and the SCP, SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2137. Object class, Thaumiel, previously Euclid, and Keter. Special containment procedures. When not being used, SCP-2137 is to be kept within a typical electronic 10-digit metal safe in the safe wing of Site-23. All digital, All digital and wireless, and wireless broadcast, broadcast media must be kept, kept at least 100 meters away from SCP-2137. Due to SCP-2137's anomalous effect having been determined to have no range limit, digital, wireless, and broadcast media may be used but should be monitored closely for any appearance of SCP-2137-1 or 2. Other than testing and recording of track 7, SCP-2137 should be considered an inanimate item without agency of its own, and any demands or threats made by SCP-2137-2 should be ignored. Once a week, SCP-2137 is to be cleaned, and all tracks are to be played in succession, with special attention paid to the instance of SCP-2137-1 that replaces track 7. The names, situations, and anecdotes presented in that instance of SCP-2137-1 must then be reported to 2137 Special Committee, Pockwatch. On the rare occasion that non-foundational organizations cannot address the situation presented in an instance of SCP-2137-1, 059 has given authorization to activate Mobile Task Force 339 to take any and all measures necessary to reach a resolution to the problem. Operational success will be indicated by a new instance of 2137-1. Personnel who wish to examine or attempt to interact with SCP-2137 must ask Dr. Kiebowitz for authorization beforehand, which will then pen 05 clearance. Description. SCP-2137 is a single compact disc copy of Me Against the World, a hip-hop album by the artist Tupac Shakur, released in 1990. Did this guy just say Tupac? Vulgan. 
I, come on, Vulcan. You said two pack. I got one pack, and now I two pack. These people talking crazy, everybody knew that. I hold it down for my black people knew that. I have everybody looking at me like a new cat. I got the pussy on the wild, people talking crazy wild. Everybody know the style. I don't really go wild, but there's no waste my time. I be going like, you know, I bend on my grind. But, I, Vulgar, you know I had to stop it when you said that. Fine. Physical, Physical examination, examination as, as well as laser, laser testing, testing indicates, indicates that the that CD was one, was one of the initial release, release manufactured, manufactured and distributed, and distributed in 1995. 1995. Conventional testing, testing of the disc itself, itself reveals, reveals identical, identical results to a non-anonymous non copy, copy of the album. The, the case and liner notes have been, notes have been determined, determined to have no anomalous, anomalous qualities, qualities, and the physical, physical makeup and encoding, encoding of the disc appear completely normal. However, upon playing track 7, normally heavy in the game, the listener will encounter an instance of SCP-2137-1. The anomaly takes the form of spontaneously generated, professionally produced songs featuring Tupac Shakur in various styles within the hip-hop genre. Though each instance of SCP-2137-1 generated is unique, they share certain commonalities in terms of subject matter. The central, the central focus, focus of the song, song invariably addresses a crime, crime almost, almost always a murder, murder or series, series of, murders, of murders, and then, then gives necessary, necessary anecdotal, anecdotal evidence or information, or information to correctly identify, identify and, prosecute and prosecute the killer, killer. Even, going even going so far as to specify prosecutors or recommend vigilante justice. justice. Though generation of SCP-2137-1 has been determined to have a definite causal nature, the manner in which SCP-2137-1 instances are copied onto SCP-2137 has yet to be ascertained. SCP-2137-2 The primary voice on the songs from herein identifying as SCP-2137-2 matches cleanly through advanced audio analysis to that of the real Tupac Shakur who died in 1996. No, 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 no. Y'all heard that right? We played that. Y'all know he. Y'all heard that right? He said it right. He said Tupac Shakur. He said it right. Tupac Shakur. He said it right. But why he keep saying Tupac? Vulgar man, you had to have a talk. Man, you have to have a talk. I can't keep taking this disrespect, Vulgar. I can't keep. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. But he said it right though. Maybe he was, maybe it was just like me trying to pronounce the first part of this SCP. Yo, y'all can't blame me though. Like for real, I'm sorry if I'm talking, but it's a reaction. Y'all came here to react and I'm from public school. So I can't say that word. And y'all over here like, oh, this dumb motherfucker can't say the first word of the SCP. I can't. For a year, a year before, before the recovery, the recovery of, SCP of SCP 2137. 21 However, occasionally, on crimes of a particularly complicated or brutal nature, SCP-2137-2 will be joined by other performers, either guest rapping or singing the chorus or bridge. This has included many of Tupac's contemporaries, such as Snoop Doggy Dog, Nas, No Doubt, Everclear, Weezer, and Busta Rhymes, as well as artists from the 2000s, including Chris Brown, Katy Perry, Lil Wayne, Wayne, Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga, Rihanna, Rihanna the Yin Yang, Yang Twins, Drake, Drake Neon, Neon Trees, Trees Jet, Jet, Jay Z, Kanye, Kanye West, West, and Eminem. Usually at the height of their popularity. What? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry for pausing, but what? Y'all gonna, it's gonna be a long ass video. Y'all gonna have to have a popcorn, sit down, talk with me, enjoy my vibe, I'll enjoy your vibe, we gonna get this shit started. But, what? I would love to hear that. That feature sounds good. Oh my. I would love to hear that. On a few notable occasions involving long unsolved crimes by still active criminals, there have been guests of a more blatantly anachronistic nature, standouts among whom include Phil Harris, the Andrews Sisters, Frank Sinatra, Buddy Holly, The Who, Elvis Presley, Diana Ross, and The Beatles. Okay, that one I don't know about. 
Heavily anachronistic guests tend to take the role of primary artists. The song performed in their style, with SCP-2137-2 joining as a rap guest. When contacted, none of these artists had any recollection of recording for or information regarding SCP-2137. The crimes themselves share that they are unsolved, or in some cases, have escaped detection entirely. The majority of instances of SCP-2137-1 address crimes of private citizens, such as serial killers, spree murderers, or career criminals, though occasionally the songs will address larger groups, such as Hamas, ISIS, the IRA, and even in two separate instances, the Chaos Insurgency and the Church of the Broken God. A prototypical example of SCP-2137-1 is included here for reference. This is an excerpt from SCP-2137-1, Log 542. Now I gotta be doing detective work. After all this time, huh? Jeff B. Drake still stalking at night Killed his brother and some strangers with the same damn night It's not in my plans to tell you what to do I know what I would do if I was you He hit the blade in the barn off North 111 He already killed six, don't make it seven Don't make it seven Be careful Play smart You mean to tell me Tupac died and then became a snitch? Huh? Okay. His ghost became a snitch. Okay. I, I, I can deal with that. Okay. But that was... You heard what he said, right? He killed his butt brother in a barn. Oh, my. So... When the when crimes have been addressed and the guilty parties brought to light, either by the legal system or otherwise, SCP-2137-1 is immediately replaced by a new instance. However, the track is easily recorded through conventional means. Recorded versions are not subject to change or replacement, and the original can be replayed from the CD endlessly before the killer is found with no or little variation. There are currently nearly 1,000 instances of SCP-2137-1 137-1 on record. Initial recovery log. SCP-2137 was recovered in the home of Avon Lincoln, arrested for the vigilante slaying of Michael Ferris, who was later revealed to have been the Ojai Strangler responsible for six murders over the summer of 1996. Avon's insistence that Tupac Shakur spoke to him from beyond the grave and told him he had to take justice into his own hands because Ferris's position as district attorney would prevent a fair trial drew the attention of Foundation agents after the song in question was produced as evidence in court. Amnestics were administered to all involved and Lincoln was released back into the general population. Addendum 1A, the XK incident. Initially, researchers experimented with anonymously tipping off local police departments through foundation plants, which led to the resolution of over cold cases, including the recovery of SCP, SCP, and SCP-617. Though no direct link has been established other than the murders involved. However, after years, this use of the SCP was deemed impractical. Repeatedly addressing the crimes discussed in 2137's music was, in practice, allowing the SCP to dictate the circumstances of its containment, and under the wrong circumstances, opened the Foundation to potential exposure through continuous interaction with law enforcement at all levels across multiple governments. In response to this, 059 ceased addressing the crimes in late 2000. After two months passed, SCP-2137's behavior radically changed when, for the first time, an instance of SCP-2137-1 was produced that revealed SCP-2137-2 had an awareness of its containment. This is an excerpt from SCP-2137-1, Log 851. You 
said you all about security, but you not good guys. You redact and expunge, man, your silence is locked. You said you're here to protect, but the killers run free. Don't let me show you how rough this outlaw can be. You couldn't stop the beast, so don't you start that struggle. You better watch your tone, unless you're looking for trouble. Man, you need to fall back and let me do my duty. Locked in the drawer, feeling like you're trying to screw me. You try to step up on my legacy. You don't believe that I'm too pop, I'm not just a CD. Y'all made Super Ghost Pac mad, man. Y'all made Super Ghost Pac mad. Yo, Tupac Ghost became a superhero right now. Y'all trying to lock him up? Y'all making Super Ghost Pac mad now. Man, I wouldn't do that if I was you. For real. Don't make Super Ghost Pac mad. Man, get him out that fucking shit. And play that motherfucker. The decision was made to halt testing entirely rather than acquiesce. After one week passed, an instance of SCP-2137-1 appeared spontaneously on the YouTube channel of Los Angeles-based hip-hop station. And in the lone hour before it was taken down, accrued over views. XK scenario incident. The image displayed on the video was a still photograph, apparently authentic, though its nature is highly anomalous. The photograph is of Shakur, estimated to be in his early 40s. It would be wise to note, at the time of his murder in 1996, Shakur was 25 years old, wearing a garb of Foundation D-Class personnel with his middle fingers raised. The accompanying song titled, Focused on SCP, revealing its actual location and means by which it could be broken free of current containment procedures and identified several members of the O5 Council by their first names as it described the function and nature of the Foundation. Stop playing with Super Ghost Park, man, I'm telling y'all. In a massive sweeping operation involving activation of multiple task forces across continents, all trace of the video was erased and all viewers were administered class A amnestics. Midway through this operation, an entire album titled XK Scenario was released to the iTunes account of Beyonce Knowles. Each song featured SCP-2137-2 as well as a variety of guest artists and focused on a different Kenner class SCP currently in captivity. Though SCP tracking bots were able to bring XK Scenario down only after downloads, complete digital eradication of the individual files has proven difficult. Though no loss of life or property was incurred, the sheer scale of the danger posed by this containment breach prompted a foundation-wide state of high alert. This prompted an ongoing upgrade to all automatic SCP firewalls and engendered the reclassification of SCP-2137 from Euclid to Keter. The breach sparked heated debate as to how to proceed with the containment of and conceptual understanding regarding SCP-2137, which came to an end upon the appearance of a new instance of SCP-2137-1. This instance was produced spontaneously through the mouth of SCP, which appeared to fall into a trance state during the incident, with the lyrics in totality repeatedly written in what was identified as 117,000 times all over the interior of its containment chamber. This is an excerpt from SCP-2137-1, Log 564. You don't wanna fall Dressed in black like you can't be seen I brought alone, I don't need no team 
yeah, so do your job, cause I'm giving you tips and put that whole CD in the mix. Fiat. My name, My is, name Cash is Cash Man, and I'm going to teach you how to build, build the best noble family, family in Kingdom, Kingdom, Kingdom Maker. Maker. When a noble, when a noble is born, is born it, will be... it will be... Hey, yo. That was hard. You know... What's going in, too? When I go... And we... Hey, man, that shit went hard. Damn. Y'all fucking with the wrong Super Ghost Park. I told y'all. The decision was made to resume the former method of testing involving the embedded informants used to relay SCP-2137's evidence and information while continuing to study the method in which SCP-2137 transmits its broadcasts in an effort to truly contain it completely. SCP-2137-2 resumed its previous behavioral pattern. SCP-2137-1s focusing on crimes until their killers are located by conventional law enforcement, with the exception of one final track. At this time, its last recorded direct interaction with the Foundation. This is an excerpt from SCP-2137-1, Log 565. Y'all can't afford, y'all can't afford to lose, and y'all will lose going against, going against me. me. So it's so, so right. right. So it's so right. right. But now that we're on the same page, that's what I got for y'all. I guess it took time for it to sink in. I'm just glad you understood what I was thinking. I just knew you come around, so you see it now. It ain't me to get upset or even throw down. You know I got the ground. I see it's hard to get some sleep at night. You got a head full of grapes and your skin ain't tight. Huh? So let's be real, it ain't no need to fight it. There's a grand design, I bet you're gonna like it. It's black and white, so don't get caught up in the deep thoughts. You got my music on the side with a greater force. Uh huh. You got my music on the side with the greater force. Investigation into any kind of link or pattern between the crimes SCP-2137 solves is ongoing, as is interest to why it doesn't use its agency to pursue the criminals in question rather than working through proxies. Memorandum. Email from Sites 515 Director Dr. Gwen Christine to 05 Council regarding Tupac. This will be the fifth time I arranged to propose an up. Yo. How she could say the name right? The first time. But who's this? Where she came from? Okay. Tell me about Tupac. What's good? Update to SCP-2371. When they when enter they our enter program, program here at Site 515, researchers, researchers engineers, engineers, MTF, MTF troops, troops, and even D-Class all walk in the door having read the official documentation and believe the Foundation has been essentially blackmailed into cooperation with the devious SCP. But everyone who actually works here know this is no longer the case. In the, in the nearly, nearly three, three decades, decades since, since containment, containment, the Foundation's, foundation's collaboration, collaboration with SCP-2137 has, has led to recovery of dozens of SCPs. Our mobile, our mobile task, task forces have, have deposed dictators, dictators and toppled top tyrants, tyrants, chased down rogue reality, reality benders, benders from three Portlands to Lamplight. Lamp Lamp this, of course, course all adjacent to the arrest or end of nearly 30,000 murderers. To add some perspective here, a serial killer hasn't made it past their third victim anywhere on Earth in 14 years. SCP-2137 has, has produced over 40,000 40, unique pieces, pieces of music. Of music. Function, Function at Site 515 has become, has become effectively, effectively frictionless. frictionless. First, First, it was just the Shug Knights. But as we as became we more, became effective, more at effective at addressing SCP-2137's SCP instruction, another MTF joined, joined, then an elite, elite division. division. Which brings, which brings us up, up to the present, the present where the where five mobile task forces, task forces under my command are in constant action against forces all over the planet Earth and beyond, all, all under, all the, under the, guidance the guidance of detailed, detailed strategy provided, provided by the mysterious music from a compact disc that the Foundation, foundation has, has failed, failed to adequately, adequately contain. contain. 
A silent, undocumented understanding has grown among us. The SCP does not simply catch murderers. It directly and aggressively searches out anything that maliciously takes a human life. The amount of lives saved and untold disasters that have been prevented through the Information 2137 supplies are at this point stupefying to contemplate. Much less that it has been able to essentially bully us into a pattern of unilaterally heroic expenditures of Foundation resources. It's little wonder that we show the highest numbers globally in Foundation Morale Test. It makes it sense, makes of, sense course. of course. Here at Here Site 515, the SCP, SCP Foundation is a fast action team of gunslinging gun heroes, heroes, smashing, smashing cults, cults, blowing away terrorists, and catching murderers and monsters in our spare time as we blast rap music out of a landing attack hovercraft, or working behind the scenes, turning local cops into super sleuths and vigilantes into heroes. But this but period, this as productive as it's been, been, has been intellectually stagnant. stagnant. Throughout, Throughout all of this, the motives, motives and origin of 2137 remain a mystery, mystery. Defying, defying every search for a pattern, pattern every algorithm-driven algorithm analysis. analysis. The, research the research wing of the site has become a ghost town, as the NTF response barracks have grown to dominate everything, and perhaps rightfully so. But, but a few a young few researchers, researchers have diligently continued to hunt for meaning, for greater truth behind SCP-21371, an unexpected advance in this area is behind the urgency in my message to you today. It had long been understood that the life of the actual Tupac Shakur held little information or relevance toward the mystery of SCP-2137's existence. This has potentially changed. Researcher Mariha Kozlovich recently came across an unreleased interview with Shakur from 1994, two years before his death and three before the discovery of SCP-2137. The interview was buried by his managers because there was anxiety about Shakur's mental state in the footage, because he was speaking what they called nonsense. I think you will agree that while Mr. Shakur may not have been speaking clearly, what he actually says is very possibly of vital interest to the Foundation, and very definitely not nonsense. I feel we may finally have, if not an answer, the beginnings of one. But I can say with certainty that in my entire time at the Foundation, I have never personally felt this excited. So I start my proposal here. A Keter-level object actively interested in aiding the human race is not a Keter-level object at all. I am officially resubmitting my proposal for SCP-2137 to at long last be redesignated a Thaumule-class object, and for a quadrupling of our research team and a site resource allocation. We must tug this thread and see where it leads us. Perhaps after hearing the audio attached, you will finally agree. Dr. Gwen Christine, Site Director, 515. Document. Document. Recover. Recovered. Gwen Pristine. What happened to your face, though? We can't see your face? Are you that pristine that we can't see your face? That's that's messed up. That's messed up. The ghost socks don't want to see the face. Right, ghost socks? Don't you want to see the face of the pristine? Footage, Footage. 1L. 1L. Um, but she's speaking some facts, though. Like, why would you want to lock up a, a something, a, a CD that's going to help you save millions of people? What the fuck? And you, you got gun blazing, you're bumping rap music, you're saving the fucking world, and what else next? Man, that's not like a team I want to be on. Shit. And you got Tupac. No, you got, my bad, my bad. You got Super Ghost Pac with you, too. Man, you're untouchable. You got super ghost pop. Man, get the uh, Tupac, Tupac Shakur, Shakur dressed, dressed casually, casually, sits, sits on a large, large red, red couch, couch smoking, smoking a marijuana, marijuana cigarette. cigarette. Hunched, Hunched forward, forward and visibly, visibly intoxicated, intoxicated with, with drooping, drooping eyes, eyes and slightly and slurred, slurred speech. speech. He seems, he seems happy and jovial, and, and laughs, laughs often, often through the interview, interview despite repeatedly becoming, becoming distracted by the presence of his entourage dancing and talking in the room. His director, His director and videographer, and Gobi Rahimi, sits, sits nearby, and VH1, VH1 interviewer, interviewer Mila Vendi, also, also visibly intoxicated, intoxicated sits, sits nearby. nearby. The relevant, the relevant portion, portion begins 9 minutes, minutes and 14, and 14 seconds, seconds into, into the interview. The interview. I saw, I saw someone saw playing yesterday. yesterday. She was using, using a shotgun. shotgun. Why would she Why pick would she that? Pick the shotgun, shotgun packs a punch, punch and deals double, double damage to front row enemies. enemies. But you gotta, so you gotta hit. hit. People ask me why I get my inspiration from. They say, how do you go so hard and put in that fat work? What they don't understand is this is me taking a break. This is me holding cases. I think some people would say that was impossible. 
just sit back, be human for a while, be an artist, experience that. I can't be chasing the king all the time. I feel like I've been doing that forever to protect you, all of you. He's not so big, and you're not so small. Working for a foundation such as this, it's kind of heartwarming to see that not every anomalous entity out there is malevolent. For once, a thalio class object that can't be contained is kind of a good thing. Maybe most people will disagree with me. Who knows? Anyway, I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. After he died, he was still talk about Tupac to this day. So, was he really drunk? Or was he spending some shit that he already foreseed, foresee? You know. Alright, everybody. That was SCP-2137 by the Vulgan. This video is long. Like I said, you should have grabbed some popcorn. It's not my fucking fault. So, like, comment, subscribe to me, the Ghost Socks. And like, comment, subscribe to the Vulcan. And we'll see you in the next video. Sweet. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>